All right, you guys see the tailgate, and uh, today's the day that we do some of the patina work. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it, and it really gives a cool accent to a vehicle. Some of the guys are doing this on the whole paint job, but to me, I like doing it just here and there and uh, doing the rest of it clean. That way it kind of gives it both uh, aspects of it, a nice clean look, but you have just little subtle accents on it to really tie it all in and give it an old school look. So I'll bring you over to the truck and show you how we did the emblems. And in this video, we're gonna show you guys how I do it to get a nice patina look using the water base. And this is the PPG Enviro base. It really works well for this uh, technique. So let me bring you over to the truck, show you the front emblems. And that's what we're gonna do on the back here to the tailgate on the raised part of the Ford emblem here. So I've already went ahead and fine lined it. I didn't have a stencil kit and I did it all by hand. And uh, you guys know that's a little bit of a tedious deal, but we gotta get it done. The truck's almost done. And then we'll be filming the last video of the old truck finished up out front and uh, show it to you guys all finished up and how it turned out. So let me take you over to the truck, show you the emblems. All right, so these are the emblems that we did on the front of the old Ford pickup truck. And you guys can see here, we got the satin, we got the shiny, and then we went ahead and we did the emblems to look like they're old school and we did a matte clear on them. So in this video here, we're gonna show you how I duplicated this on the back. That way the front and the back have the cool little look to it of the old school. So let's get back over to the tailgate. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and put down the white base coat on the uh, tailgate and start out with that for the ground coat and then we'll start into our uh, patina work so we're just doing this out on the floor it's just a small little emblem area and you don't have to get picky with it because we're going to be using a matte clear on this so it's good for you guys at the house you can do a little stuff like this in your garage you don't have to worry about it being clean because at the end it's going to kind of look like a uh, textured part even though you can feel it and it'll be smooth because of the way the water base lays down, you wanna make sure you thin it out. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of white on the tailgate, and then we'll get into the patina work. All right, so we've already wiped it and cleaned it, and now we're just gonna tack it off, get off some of the dust, and uh, put down our white. All right, so we put our white down and we do not want to get full coverage on it. We just want to have some of the white on there because we want it to actually look as if it was wearing out around the corners and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead, let that set up, and then we're going to go in and mix up our stuff and I'll show you guys how I do it. All right, so now you go over to your toner and you're going to want to look for the colors that you want it to look like. So these are some of the colors here that I use. This is the 440 and it's like a rusty, uh, trace red oxide so i'll take some of these colors and i'll get my desired shade that i want to have and you can always cocktail it back and forth and do some sp spray out cards i like to take some of the test panels and uh, do some stuff with these on it that way you could see your colors before you put it down on the actual part so use these and uh, what we're going to end up doing is just taking some of our toners and mixing it up in these little cups with some uh, reducer, the water reducer, and we thin it out. And then I use a squirt bottle. So this is just an old squirt bottle that I use. And uh, we mix it up with the squirt bottle and squirt it on. So I'm gonna get my colors and uh, get them in here and then we'll start spraying it on it. All right, so you guys see I got the spray out card here. You could just take it and just hit it and that way you can see your color that you're gonna have before you actually put it on the part. That way you know you're in the ballpark. So we're gonna start out with this and then we're gonna go ahead and move into some different shades and I'll show you how we do it. All right, so we got our uh, rust color on there so far, 
And like I was telling you guys, this is going to be something that's going to be a trial and error till you get your desired look. Kind of like when I did the wood grain video. So right now it's going to be layer on layer to get the right look that I'm going for. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let this set up because you guys see I got the water droplets on it at the moment. And that's going to have to evaporate so that way I can see what I got and move into our next color. All right, we're going to move into our second color, and that's a darker version of this one here. I added some black in it, so let's go ahead and put it on. All right, so I got all my colors on there like I want them, and now I'm gonna go ahead and let this set up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and sand the corners of this as if it was just wearing away from age, from the sun, or if someone was to try to have buffed this years ago and the paint has wore off. So let's let this set up. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of a sky pad, and then uh, we'll be ready to hit it with the satin clear, and you guys will see it all finished up at the end unmasked. All right, we've got our clear mixed up and we're going with the satin. We're gonna put one coat and uh, then we'll be unmasking it. So I used the regular 2021 with the matting agent in it. And uh, that's the PPG system for the uh, sheens. You can get eggshell, satin, or any of the other ones. So let's go ahead and put our uh, clear on it and then we'll unmask it. All right, so it's all unmasked and it's all finished up. We hit it with the satin clear and that is just to give it a little bit of the age look like the front emblem. So I'm no airbrush artist and uh, we just did this as a quickie just to give it a nice little subtle look and I think it came out nice and we achieved what we were going for on it. So we hit it with the water base, then we hit it with our squirt bottle. You guys got to play around with it to uh, get the look that you're going for. That way it looks the way you want it to and then uh, go ahead and put some clear on it. That way it's treated, because this is a water base. So the water base to me works the best for this. And uh, you guys see here, it looks pretty good. So this truck will be going together and you guys will see it all finished up here shortly in the next video. So we'll see you guys on the next one.